Good afternoon, dear student. Welcome to the Europedia platform. We are launching a new book that is called the NPTEL for a mechanical engineering. Basically, the main motive of to launch this book, ki as we just see the recent papers of a gate years, just like a 2022, and before that, we are just say, see that we are just noticed that ki so many uh, questions are in a coming in a gate examination are using the multiple concept of a different different subjects or there are some new questions are come. So these NPTEL books are basically designed by a question given by the assignments given by the IIT faculties uh, or basically the, uh, the lectures, uh, the assignments prepared by the IIT faculties and also the question given by the IIT faculties. So we are discussing all questions in this lectures. So here I am just taking about the mechanical engineering and uh, so take the subject as a fluid mechanics here and you just open the page number here. That is 127. We are just taking the question of FM. The question number 10. You just see the book and you are just finding out the question. So we are discussing this question of our fluid mechanics here. Okay, so this you, this book is really very very helpful for you to do the preparation. Just learn the new questions as well as the new concept here. Okay. Just solve the question. Try to solve the question. Okay. Now I am going to solve the question now. The question is saying that. A uniform wooden cylinder has a density of 600 kilonewton per meter cube if the cylinder just float upright in the state of a neutral equilibrium in water the ratio of a diameter to the length of the cylinder will be we have to just find out the ratio of the length of the diameter to the length of the cylinder and it is just asking in the case of a neutral equilibrium so how to solve the question we are just see this First of all, whatever the given data, yeah, let us assume we are just making the diagram. This is my cylinder. Having diameter D and length L. It is just uh, asking in the case of a neutral equilibrium, it means the body is submerged in a water. The body is submerged in a water. So let us assume the H height is submerged in a water. So here le capital L and D are the length and diameter of cylinder whereas h is the height of a cylinder which is just submerged in a water h is the height of cylinder that is submerged in water submerged in water so it is just asking the concept of a neutral equilibrium as we see here so it is just asking the case of a neutral equilibrium so first of all we have to just know about the what do you mean by neutral equilibrium so whenever the body is going to be fluid we have to just know uh, the meta center how the meta center is going to be find uh, what is the condition of a neutral equilibrium so if i just going to the second neutral equilibrium What is neutral equilibrium? So neutral equilibrium is when when Bm equals to Bg. That is a condition of a neutral equilibrium. So first of all, we have to just find out the Bm. Bm is basically uh, directly find by the meta center radius. It is equals to I by V. That is a I minimum by the volume of the fluid displaced. And Bg is directly find out the difference between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy. So, but there is a one thing in the question is given that ki it is just submerged in a water, but we don't know how much height is going to be submerged in a water. So, we have to just using some concept by this, we can just find out the that length which is just submerged in a water. So, for that, we are using the principle of flotation. Here, one thing is also given that ki density, density of cylinder, density rho of cylinder equals to 600 kg per meter cube and density of water we all know that is 1000 kg per 
मीटर क्यूब ओके सो फॉर फॉर नोइंग द रिलेशन बिटवीन द एच एंड द एल वी हैव टू जस्ट यूज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फ्लोटेशन वी हैव टू यूजिंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फ्लोटेशन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फ्लोटेशन What do you mean by principle of flow attraction? Whenever any body, whenever any body is equilibrium condition or floating in a water or any liquid, the weight of the body is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. Weight of the body equal to the weight of fluid displaced. यानी whenever any body is going to be going to be float in a liquid, flow, going to float in a liquid in equilibrium condition, then we can say that weight of the body equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. So here we can just say that. weight of body equals to weight of fluid displaced that is wb equals to w of ft so we are using this equation by finding out the relation between the l and h so weight of the body is that is weight of the body is rho vg weight of the body is rho of body into g into volume of the body equals to weight of the fluid displaces rho of the fluid into g into volume of the fluid displaced vfd is representing the how much volume is replaced by the body oh theek okay. hai so weight of the fluid displaced ठीक है सो हियर वी आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेंसिटी ऑफ अ बॉडी इज 600 kg पर मीटर क्यूब g इज रिमेन्स सेम एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ द बॉडी इज पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर इंटू एल ओके हियर वी आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेंसिटी ऑफ अ फ्लूड इज दैट इज 1000 kg पर मीटर क्यूब इंटू g इंटू वॉल्यूम ऑफ द फ्लूड डिस्प्लेस दैट इज पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर इंटू एच So if we are just see this, we are just uh, this one is cancelled to each other. This pi by four d square is also cancelled to each other. So you are just you are just finding out this six hundred and one thousand. You just divide by two hundred. So you are just getting the formula, uh, the relation three l equals to the five h. You are just getting the relation that is three l equals to five h. Or we can just write. H because we we want to replace the H so we are just finding in the terms of H so uh, H equals to three L by five it is the one relation we are just getting now we have to just calculate we have to just calculate the BM now the BM is meter centric radius that is also known as meter centric that is I Y B it is related Written as a I by V. That is, I minimum. We can also write like this: I minimum by volume of the fluid displaced. Okay. So it, here in the case of that is, this is a cylinder. Okay. Or whenever we want, just want to take the moment of inertia or I minimum, we always take at the free surface. We always take at the free surface but in this case it is a regular figure so the i minimum or i both are the same so here the i is remains same that is i minimum or i is remains same that is pi by 64 into d to the power 4 where i just i am talking about the vfd volume of the fluid displaced that is pi by 4 d square into h we are just finding the bm now bm equals to I minimum by VFD. I minimum is pi by 64 into d to the power 4 upon pi by 4 d square into h. So we are just just uh, this is 2 and this cancel each other. Now that this one is 16. So we are just getting the relation d square by 16 h. We are just getting this, but we have to just replace the h because h is not uh, asking the in the question. They are just asking the uh, in the terms of l and d. So we are just replacing the h. So value of h is 
3 L by 5. We are just putting the value of H that is D square upon 16 into 3 L by 5. So we are getting that is 5 D square by 48 L. We are just getting the relation of Vm is that is 5 D square upon 48 L. Okay. Now we know this is a cylinder and dipped up to the height of H. Up to the height of H and this is a L length of the cylinder. Now the center of gravity is the just at the half of the figure. So that we can half of the cylinder is L by 2 from the this or L by 2 from here. But when I am just talking about the center of buoyancy, center of buoyancy is acting at the half of the body which is just submerged in the water. Half of the body which is just submerged in the water. So it is just submerged up to the height of H. So center of buoyancy is H by 2 and this is B point and this is G point. Okay, so we have to just find out the BG. So value of BG is BG is L by 2 minus H by 2. L by 2 minus H by 2. So we are know the L by 2 minus H key value is 3L by 5. So it is 3L by 5 multiply by 2. So we just take the LCM here that is 10 is the LCM that is 5 L minus 3 L. So, we are just getting the 2 L by 10 and BG are getting is L by 5. Now, we have a BG, we have a BM. So, by using the neutral equilibrium relationship, we know in neutral equilibrium Bm equals to Bg. So what is the value of Bm? We have already calculated the value of Bm. That is Bm is 5d square by 48l whereas Bg is L by 5. 5d square by 48l. Whereas Bg is Bg is L by 5. Now it is just asking the question what is the relation between the D and L. Now we just take the D square by cross multiply this that is L square equals to ho jayega, mera 48 by 25. So now D by L equals to root ke andar 48 by 25. So, D by L is came to be a 1.386 something. So, we can just write as the 1.4. So, the D by L equals to 1.4. That is the answer. Okay. So, you can just see the question and now you are just finding out the this. In the case of neutral equilibrium, what is the ratio of length to diameter of the cylinder? The answer is C. So I think you will just learn about the uh, concept of the principle of flotation and just know about the beauty of this book. So they, it will just contain the very good, good question and very good assignments of the NPTEL which are just providing by the good faculties of the IIT which also makes the paper of a gate examination. So this book is also helpful for you to crack the examination and to get the more and more number in the ex uh, gate examination. So thank you so much.